Today, I'm gonna to give you a full tutorial of how to find and manage your Instagram hashtag so you can reach new people, grow your account, and make more money from the platform. In a moment, I'll dive into my screen and walk you through exactly how to do all of this, but before we do that, I wanna go over three fundamental things you need to know and understand about hashtags on Instagram. The first one is that content is how you rank and the hashtag is where you rank. That's how I like to think about it anyway. You rank on hashtags by having the best content on that hashtag. The best content on that hashtag is determined by a range of things that we talk about in my algorithm videos, but essentially getting a lot of shares, a lot of saves, a lot of comments, and a higher watch time on that piece of content, or if it's not an, a video, if it's an image, a high session time. Then the hashtag itself, like the specific hashtag, is where on Instagram you rank. On top of this, the size of the hashtag often determines the competition of the hashtag and how hard it is gonna be to rank on. Fundamental number two is that understanding competition is key. The more competition there is to rank on a hashtag, the harder it is gonna be to rank on it. However, if you can get into those top few spots, the bigger the reward. The bigger the hashtag, the more people there are going for those top spots, and the more engaging your content is gonna to have to be to actually rank on it. As a smaller account starting out, I would definitely recommend going for smaller, less competitive hashtags to start with, and then get the ball rolling. And the third and final fundamental is that you can use up to 30 hashtags per post. This is something I think a lot of you know, but I feel like I'd mention it anyway. You can use 30 per post. I tend to use anywhere between 25 up to 30 to grow my audience as fast as possible and reach as many people. Okay, let's dive into my screen and I'll show you all the details. Okay, so diving into my screen here, I've loaded up Flick, which is the hashtag tool that I use to do my research. And I'm gonna run you through exactly how I do it. And I use a super simple strategy. You can add to this and get more specific with things, more in depth and test and tweak things as you go. But I would start out with this strategy and then add on top of it as you go. So you can go ahead and get a free seven day trial with the link below. And then once you jump into your account, you're gonna see this screen here, which is where you're searching for Instagram hashtags. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is go to filters and you're going to activate smart filters and what this does is it means that flex special systems will look at your instagram account they'll look at your average engagement they'll see how many posts you've made they'll look through all of these metrics and work out filters specific to your account to give you only the hashtags that will get you the best results so they're gonna cut out the hashtags that are so big that it's just borderline impossible to rank on, like hashtag fitness, hashtag business, all these real tricky ones, and they'll cut out the tiny ones as well that you're not gonna get any reach from, and then this allows you to get the ones that are gonna allow you to get results on your account. The next thing you're gonna do is just simply put in a keyword. So I'm gonna put in social media, and that's gonna be one of my keywords. Then as you can see at the top of the screen here, the total posts, they've sorted that. The average likes, they have sorted that as well. And then it is gonna come up with a bunch of hashtags here. It's gonna show me the average likes you need to rank on them. It's gonna show me how many posts have been made, the average amount of comments, and so forth. They also rank a competition score, potential reach, etc. Now what you're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do in this situation, and you would do on your account, is you're gonna go through and select a handful of the most relevant ones. Now what I would suggest is pick sort of five to seven from each keyword, and have five different keywords. So I might go through and say, you know what, business advertising, the competition score is pretty low, the potential reach is quite good, I'm gonna use that one there. Digital marketer, that's relevant to my content, I'm gonna use that one there. Um, if I keep going down here, mm, this one here, marketing services, low competition, decent potential reach, relevant to my account, I'm gonna select that one. That gives me three, same as organic growth. Organic growth is something I do a lot of for our clients with my agency, link below if you wanna check it out. And so I'm gonna select that one. And I'm just gonna go through and pick the hashtags that are most relevant to me. Marketing firm, social media marketer. I might actually pick a few more than five or six. I'll go social media optimization, social media training. And this would be really relevant if you're a social media expert. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to search another keyword. So I'm gonna search Instagram. Because as many of you know, my brand is all about teaching people Instagram and I run my agency where we consult people and do Instagram services for them. So I'm gonna search Instagram and it's gonna give me a whole new set of potential hashtags. And a lot of these completely are irrelevant. They're not relevant. So I'm gonna go for a more targeted keyword of Instagram 
tips and that's the thing if you search a keyword and there are no targeted hashtags then all you got to do is search a more specific one so if i go instagram tips then boom straight away a ton come up so i'm going to pick some that are specific social media help that's a good one there marketing coach brand strategist instagram tips 101 instagram tips for marketing digital marketing consultant now i'm going to pick a handful of these digital marketing expert content marketing that's something i do a lot of social media consultant small business marketing all of these things i'm going to go through and look at them and then i'm going to search another keyword i'm going to go online business because that's another part of my brand so i'm going to go through and search that and i'm going to put in a handful of these business tips uh, i'm going to put in business ownership now i'm going to go for entrepreneur life grow your business internet business internet marketing tips what other ones here i oh, know online business coach. Oh, i'm not really an online business coach so i'm not going to check that one online business manager online business all of these things and boom i've got 27 hashtags selected just like that that fit my target audience and uh within the right size that i can actually rank on them and get some traction now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply go ahead and go save to collection and i'm going to go new collection and i'm going to do online marketing audience give that a capital a and go create and then i've built a fully customized set of hashtags that are going to be fit for my content that i can simply then go and each time i post all i have to do is go copy collection and then put that into my caption and boom just like that i've done hashtag research and that's pretty much all you have to do to find specific hashtags on instagram and i'm just going to quickly recap this for you so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create a free seven day trial of flick and i'll put my link below for this the second thing you're going to do is you're going to pick a handful of different keywords that your content is based around so this could be anywhere from like three to five keywords that your content is all about so for me it could be instagram online marketing and social media there are three things that my content is all about for you it could be fitness weight loss and health that could be three things that your content is all about it could be lifestyle travel and adventure could be those three you're going to pick a handful of pillars that your content is all about the third thing you're going to do is you're going to put those three to five keywords into flick and apply the smart filters so it filters out any hashtags too big and any hashtags too small then the fourth thing you're going to do is simply go through and select the ones that are relevant to your content and specific to your account that you can then use and put into a hashtag collection which you are going to save and then every time you post you can copy and paste those hashtags across now the additional thing you can do to go ahead and actually grow faster using your hashtags is come into this part here called analytics which is another part of flick that is really cool and what you can do is then you can look at your hashtags and see which ones are performing the best and getting you the absolute best results and then you can use them more often for example if you have three different sets of hashtags each with 30 different hashtags in them you might find your best 10 from each set of hashtags and put those 30 together and use those more often this is going to allow you to grow faster and reach new people on top of this you can actually go through and take a look at your content and then realize what is going to actually get you the best results content wise and then you can make tweaks to your content which is completely irrelevant to your hashtags but you can look at what content is working the best and do more of that which is going to benefit your hashtags and your account in general so for example if i take a look at my recent content on at ig with josh I'm going to look at this one here the engagement rate of my most recent one was 10 percent so 10 percent of the people that saw the content actually engaged with it which is actually quite good and that one got way more reach than the rest so clearly something about that was good it could have been the topic it could have been the caption could have been the hashtags could have been a range of things and if i had more time i would go more in depth and study that but i'm just going to keep it short for this video now if i scroll down some more i can see that this one here also had a very high engagement rate i had 10 percent then 7.6 8.4 8.6 9.5 10 percent the two 
common things about the two that had 10% or greater engagement is they were both about Instagram Reels. So now I know my audience wanna know more about Instagram Reels, so I should be creating more content about that to increase my engagement. Now if I scroll down some more, I can see some other ones that are doing well. I can see one about Instagram growth that was designed in a specific way, has also done very well and got 11.1%, so I should probably do more about Instagram growth as well, which is probably why the Instagram Reels one did so great is because they're also about growth. Now, if I keep scrolling down, this one here, the iceberg one, also 11% doing very well. And so I can look at all of this data, find out what content is doing the absolute best on my account, rather than just looking at the ones with the most likes, look for ones that have got a high engagement percentage or a high amount of saves. Like this one here had a huge amount of saves, 59 saves. And that means people are coming back to it. And if you saw in my recent video, which is here about the Instagram algorithm, then you'll realize that saves are so important for going viral. And that's why this one did really well. Now I could go on through this content here for a long time and analyze everything. And this is stuff that we talk about in my trainings below in the description. But at the end of the day, you're just gonna go through, look at what is working the best, look at what's getting the best results and draw conclusions between those things and then apply that to your next content. So if you notice certain trends, try and include that in your future content to get the absolute best results and maximize not only your hashtag returns, but the returns of your content creation, posting, etc., in general. So if you wanna get a free trial of Flick, I have left my affiliate link down in the description. If you choose to use it and stay on past the free trial, I will earn a small commission for referring you at no extra cost to you. It does really help support this channel and the content, so I really appreciate those of you using that link. Also, my Instagram crash course is now live where I've got more content around different growth strategies as well as hashtags, which you can find in the link in the description of this video too. For just $9, you can get full access today. But Aside from that, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. I post two videos every single week all about growing on Instagram and making money online. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video sometime soon. Cheers.